Conditions 0404 Adam 02 Willie respond to the trauma at West Broadway and Chambers. Fire is reporting a customer has been struck by a train southbound number two line. How you doing, sir? Hashtag one and three. Oh, oh, get me out of here. Where are you? Oh, for Adam. Manhattan, I think. What happened? We got weak radio pulses. It's good to know where you came from, to know where you are and where you're going. New York in the 70s was um, rough. There were shootings, there were stabbings, there were jumpers, there were car accidents, there was one trauma call after the other. And although the medical calls, all of the patients weren't just sick, they were multi-system sick. Look at the diseases, look at the trauma. What does the community need, all right? They need paramedics. That the community needs paramedics. And they could need an operational system that delivers the care. But those things gotta work. So the paramedic program started as a pilot in 1974, providing advanced life support to the residents of the Bronx was a measurable, quantifiable, where you could go in and make a big difference as paramedics prior to transporting the patient to the hospital. The medic program was invaluable. I mean, it was extremely important that it continue, that it persist, that it expand because of the people that it served. The public slowly became aware of what our job was and what we can do. I mean, we come in and they'd be surprised we're coming out with this equipment. They didn't know who we were. And they said, wow. In the field, when we took out the defibrillators, people never saw that piece of equipment because it was always in the ER. You know, maybe these guys are good. Maybe they can hang around. Maybe they're doing fine for the patients. And then slowly, I guess the word got out. We were the, we were the princes of Bronx. The big thing was when the save happened, it hit the paper, and then the whole shift happened with the mayor's office. Where, who are medics? Where are they? I want more. I want medics in every hospital right now, and that's where we, that's where we really blew up. We've always had the medical calls. We've always had the trauma calls. But now we are seeing different types of cases. We are seeing more infectious diseases. We're seeing measles, polio. Now we're seeing mass shootings, mass casualty incidents, the whole aspect of terrorism, the anthrax cases that we saw in New York City. These are all new things. For the past 50 years, our capabilities have increased tremendously, from equipment to vehicles to uh, medications, from protocols. We're just able to do so much now that we didn't do 50 years ago. Mass casualty incidents, active shooter jobs, collapses, terrorist attack. We keep training, training, training. Our goal is to train our members the best we can so we can be prepared for that type of assignment if and when it comes in. Today, the paramedics are more prepared than ever. I think that the first paramedic program, the implementation of the skills that we learned in that class on the street, raised the level of expectation. They're the foundation of the program and the department. Without them, there'll be no us. <laughs>